Theory and Practice of Silviculture, Lecture Number Sixteen. So we were with the silviculture systems, and now in this lecture we are going to study about the irregular shelterwood system. So, as already we have studied in the previous lectures, that what is silviculture system? Actually, silviculture system is the science of producing and tending a forest from regeneration to harvest. Now. silviculture system includes three basic components what are those three basic components first is harvest then is regeneration then is tending these components are designed to mimic the natural processes and the conditions fostering health vigorous stand of the trees so it is very important for us to understand this silviculture system what we are doing has to be managed with the three basic components what what i was just now telling regeneration that is important in all the forestry operations because regeneration actually depends upon the silviculture of tree species what is silviculture of tree species the nature of the tree species some tree species generate regenerate in the light some require bit shade some are shade demanders so we should know what is the actual nature of the tree species and how it could be regenerated now harvesting is a very essential process in forestry from where we can get the revenue but harvesting should be in a such a way by knowing the silviculture of the tree species we will harvest so this component as i told harvesting has to be done maybe step wise may be clear felling may be in one or two fellings so that depend on the silviculture of tree species and then when it has been harvested our duty comes how the species will regenerate now and how not only regenerate how it could be established there now there are two words one is recruitment and one is establishment recruitment means when it get germinated and becomes seedling and saplings but it doesn't mean that regeneration is completed unless until it has been established to some pull stage that is very important and to do that we need to go for tending operations tending is nursing we may go for weeding we may go for pruning we may go later for thinning how to tend the forest we tend in a such a way that they become established and slowly slowly they become mature enough and then again we follow the same cycle this is important that's what we are going to study the different silviculture systems so already we have studied about uh, the system of concentrated regeneration then we are now with the uh, under the system of concentrated regeneration we are on the uh, uh, shelterwood system then there is system of diffuse regeneration which i'll be uh, taking in the coming lectures then there is accessory systems so as we go from system of concentrated regeneration to system of diffuse regeneration the operations become slowly 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 complex because when we deal with the clear felling system that is a light demand of tree species it is very easy we can fell it in clear felling system but when we go for shelterwood system slowly slowly it becomes bit complex like from uniform system bit complex to group system from group system bit complex to shelterwood strip system similarly wagner's blender sham sham slog ever heard wedge system strip and group system irregular shelterwood system and indian irregular shelterwood system now after this system of concentrated regeneration we will be going for system of diffuse regeneration that is more complex that is called selection system selection system means all age forest here we have to be very careful here we need more skills so that's what we are going to study now in this lecture we are going to study the irregular shelterwood system now what is irregular shelterwood system in the shelterwood system we have studied about the uniform system that was very simple system uniformly we were felling by seeding felling secondary felling final felling final felling and then we also have gone through the group system in my previous lecture then shelterwood strip system wagner's blender sam slog then aberhurd wedge system then strip and a group system in this lecture we are going to study about the irregular shelterwood system now what is irregular shelterwood system now you see the term irregular shelterwood system is an equivalent of two european system one is called swiss family slag and other one is called baden family slag that is practiced in europe but it doesn't mean it is in europe it has been evolved in europe it can be practiced anywhere 
wherever the species demand the type of silviculture. Now this, the irregular shelter wood system, let's understand it very nicely. Definition says, in which regeneration fellings are on the pattern of group system, but as the regeneration period is long, the crop produce is uneven age or irregular. Now, it means that in the uh, regeneration fellings, which I said is a pattern of a group system, does it is not a group system. It is a pattern of a group system. It's like a group system, this irregular shelter group system. But as the regeneration becomes very, very long, now we have to go from somewhere for selection pattern also, selection system, which I'll be going to take in the coming lectures. Uh, selection system and a group system. It is somewhere the compromise. Now, let's see. Uh, this is for example uh, in group system already let's first understand group system in my previous lecture we have studied about the group system in coming lectures i'll be teaching about the selection system uh, before that let me tell you that irregular shelter wood system the nominal rotation period is 100 to 120 years even more now let's understand group system uh, already for the detail you can go and uh, watch the lectures uh, silviculture uh, 14 that is a group system in a short i am going to tell you that in a group system what we do we find some advanced growth or we artificially create some advanced growth in that compartment so what we do we try to fell seeding felling secondary felling and then final felling uh, in detail you can see in the lecture number 14 then while doing this felling regeneration felling the groups enlarge centrifugally and from here we keep on felling and we enlarge similarly here we keep on felling and we go for enlarge and here also we fell and go enlarge like this we keep on enlarging and then finally merge with each other and the entire compartment is been now felled where we are having the new recruits which has been established so as again uh, i'll like to give you that how wavy line is to come you can go and see again the detail lecture on that one so here you can see this uh, part we are doing seeding felling in the beginning seeding felling was here then as seeding felling was in the second line then we did here secondary felling as seeding felling was outer side then this is secondary felling and the final felling you can see this is the final felling here this is the secondary felling here and this is the seeding felling here. Like this, we keep on enlarging and the regenerative felling in peripheral strips around them and the fresh seedlings and rings come. Slowly, slowly they merge with each other. Here the group system is enlarging and they merge with each other. Just to tell you the difference, you can see how this is seeding felling we have done here. Here we have done seeding felling, secondary felling, we can see. Here we are doing again seeding felling, secondary felling, finding, and that, see how they are merged here. This is what the group system and slowly slowly the entire compartment, entire forest is to merge and then we get a wavy line where the regeneration period if you remember is not more than 40 years, generally is 20 to 30 years. So selection system now, I am going to tell you about group system first, then selection system, then the irregular shelter wood system is the compromise of these two systems. That's why I am going to explain you. Now this is a selection system. Selection system is all aged forest. We said all aged forest. Now what do you mean by all aged forest? We, we see the, there is one word called German word called family. Family is to select the best and family select like means here this is an exploitable diameter, here is an exploitable diameter, here is an exploitable diameter, here is an exploitable diameter. Now no need to wait for it to die. It has already been fully matured. Now it is a time to cut down, to harvest it. So we select the best and then harvest in between the tree because all age trees in this forest from one year, two year, three year, one day, two, uh, it goes to 120, 150 years. So we will go in that forest and then we will find the exploitable diameter trees and then fell. We will select and fell. This is called selection system. Now let us go back to the topic that is called the irregular shelter wood system. Let us go for the definition again. In which the regeneration fellings are on the pattern of a group system. You can see this is a pattern of a group system. But the regeneration period is long. Here the regeneration period is very long. So we cannot go for exactly group system. And the crop becomes in average or irregular. So we have to follow somewhere selection system also. Selection system one way, group system one way and we compromise these two systems. This is 
as I told you by Swiss and Baden. Now this Swiss and Baden, uh, they made this system in a such a way that it becomes an irregular forest because the species are like that. Species demand is like that. Regeneration is not very fast. Now we can see here a gap cutting. We call it this is uh, just like uh, I say Swiss. Okay, here gap cutting has been done. We have done some thinning, and due to the thinnings, you can see some regeneration is coming up in this area. We call it famal slag, gap cutting techniques. So Swiss famal slag says subjected to light thinning for regeneration, but maintaining its dense clean bowl protect the soil and prevent the weed. It doesn't mean we'll open it very fast like group system. We'll just induce it, light thinning. So even those trees which are here will be of a clean bowl, straight bowl, timber value. And then on the other hand, when we talk of Baden, Baden doesn't follow the group system. Swiss follows the group system. Baden says that it there were already advanced growth is there, there will go for the regeneration felling. So it is just like a compromise between the group system and the selection system. So the regeneration period is usually up to crosses up to 50 to 60 years where the group system is not more than 40 years. Now here exactly the definition says that the irregular shelter wood system is a system which gives you uneven age or irregular forest and it is a liberal compromise between a group system and then the selection system. So that's very simple to understand that when we combine selection system and the group system, it becomes the irregular shelter wood system. Now the irregular shelter wood system, we have to take care of the damage when we fell down that the young crops uh, is not been damaged by this uh, felling. So felling is very light felling and gradual regeneration happens there. So uh, it is not like they merge with each other like group system. It doesn't merge. It takes a lot of time. So for that, let's go for the difference. We need to understand the difference between the irregular shelter wood system, irregular and the group system. So what is the difference between these two? Let's understand the first point, difference among the pattern of felling. When we pattern of felling, when we fell in group system, the real group system, then as I told you, we enlarge, we slowly, slowly enlarge and merge within the entire compartment. So the whole forest, we keep on making this induce uh, uh, some felling or some advanced growth is there and we go for seeding felling, secondary felling and final felling. Finally, they merge and the entire forest has been felled. But when we go for felling in irregular shelter wood system, it is not like that. We either go for some of the light thinnings or we see some advanced growth and then when felling is there, we do, we it, in, uh, there is no enlargement of those group and merging of those group and we go in one compartment rather than going in the entire forest. The group system follows the entire forest but this uh, irregular shelter wood system follows the compartment means that one compartment is fully been fell by 50 to 60 years then we'll go to the next compartment. Second is what is the character of the crop? In a group system the character of the crop is somewhere even age generally 20 to 30 years but here sometimes maximum we go for 40 years but in this irregular shelter wood system the regeneration felling the period for that one is more than 50 to 60 years so longer regeneration period usually 50 to 60 years this is what the character of the crop here is group system is even age and then the irregular shelter wood system is uneven age. Then let's see the difference of uh, selection system with the irregular shelter wood system. In selection system, now let's go for the pattern of felling. In the pattern of felling in this selection system is not like a compartment. The felling is selecting the best exploitable diameter and maximum we go for felling cycle. Maximum we go for felling cycle. Felling cycle is we divide the entire forest in number of compartments or we can say coupes and then we go felling first felling we do in compartment one then we go for felling compartment two then three like this we keep on going but now felling of what only the exploitable diameter because it is all age tree from one day one month 10 years 100 years 
टू मोर ऑल द ट्रीज आर प्रेजेंट हेयर ऑल एज ट्रीज आर प्रेजेंट हेयर द फैलिंग इज ओनली द एक्सप्लोटेबल डायमीटर ट्रीज बट वी फैल इन द सन कुपेज एंड वी फॉलो द फैलिंग साइकिल बट हियर वेन वी गो फॉर इलगो शटअपुट सिस्टम फैलिंग एज आई टोल्ड यू आई so as the felling we follow here as per the swiss famous like that is we create some gap by light thinning or we depend like a beden he says that some advanced regeneration is either present then we'll start felling there and then this is the felling done in one compartment but what's the character of the crop when we go for the character of the crop in selection system then it has all age trees to uneven age and here is also an even age but the regeneration felling is 50 to 60 here we don't have regeneration felling throughout the life this will go on through the life the felling cycle will go on but here somewhere we have 50 to 60 years that is called the regeneration period so this is the difference between the selection system and the irregular shutterbolt system now we are going to study that is called the indian irregular shutterbolt system so there is a difference between the irregular shelter wood system and the indian irregular shelter wood system here is particularly the word is been used that is called indian the indian irregular shelter wood system now the compromise is different here there we were there, there was a compromise between the group system and the selection system here will be the compromise between the uniform system and the selection system so it is defined as a silviculture system in which the crop to be regenerated is open up irregularly and the resultant crop is uneven age so this is my coming lecture we are going to study about the indian irregular shelter wood system and this is very very important as a part of your all competitive exams of indian irregular shelter wood system there we will we will be covering an example of shorya rabasta so keep watching uh, the lectures uh, for this indian irregular shelter wood system in my coming lecture that is uh, lecture number 17 Thank you for watching this lectures thank you namaste